So I thought I would do a video about book reviews and should authors write them or not. And particularly, I mean critical reviews. Do you think an author should write a critical review? I don't mean a mean review. I don't think anybody should write a mean book review. But what if they just really didn't like the book, you know? Should they say something? What do you think? So I'm sure you've heard this advice before. They say if you want to be a better writer, you have to read a lot. I know you've heard that before. It's pretty good advice. I'm gonna take it a step further. Not only should you read books, but I think you should take a good look at books and decide what do you think makes them good? Or what do you think makes them not so good? So when you write a book review, say you love the book. Like, why did you love the book? Like, what was it about the book that you really loved? Did you love that the hero and the heroine like had like a slow burn romance and then suddenly they just exploded and couldn't fight it anymore? Or do you love how, like, the villain at the end, like, the, you know, they, they caught the bad guy and they solved the mystery. Like, it was a satisfying ending. You love the characters. Like, what did you love specifically about the book? Then on the flip side, what, if you didn't like the book, what did you not like about the book? Was the, like, hero, like, a complete jerk? Was the heroine just whiny and insecure? Was she an ice queen? Or, you know, was it not even the characters? Was it just maybe the, the story was just slow? It just dragged on? Or, or, you know, even other things like, you know, maybe the sentences were clunky or, you know, just any number of things. But what specifically did you not like about the book? So I think writing book reviews is a really good way to become a better writer because you start to learn what works for these books, like what works for it or, or what doesn't work. So definitely, I think if you want to build your skills as a writer, I think you should read books you love and books you hate and then, you know, identify what it is about those books that you liked or didn't like. Now this brings me to book reviews. I have been a member on Goodreads since I think about 2008. And when I first joined, I, like, added every single book that I could ever remember reading in my entire life. And then I went through a phase where I was reviewing every single thing that I read. And if I loved the book, I would sing its praises. I would give it five stars. I would tell you exactly why I love that book. And if I didn't like the book, I didn't hold back. I would tell you why I didn't like the book either. Now, that's not to say I would... I made a critical review. Uh, I would make a critical review, but that's not to say I would be mean in the review. I, d I don't think it's 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 a good idea for anybody to attack an author or be like really mean or anything. Um, but you know, I would just honestly say, well, this is what I didn't like about the book. And then at some point, I started reading books differently, and it was about the time when I had finished writing my own novel. I had finished writing my first novel and I started to read books as a writer and not as a reader. And I definitely feel there is a difference. It's it's like how how can I describe it? It's um it's like have you ever watched figure skating before? And you see the figure skater out there and she's very graceful on the ice, and she's doing her jumps, and she just looks amazing out there. And then you hear the commentators, and they're just, like, completely trashing her. Like, oh, you know, that's, that's going to cost her. And, oh, you know, she, you know, she didn't do that triple axle, or it was a double axle, or I, I don't know anything about figure skating, so I don't even know if those terms are right. But, but you get what I'm saying. Like, they just totally trash that skater. And I'm thinking, what are you talking about? She's, like, doing a great job on that ice. But I am watching figure skating as a viewer. Not really knowing anything about figure skating. The commentators 
they are like judges. They know about figure skating. They know the techniques. And they can tell, even if I can't tell, they can tell when something's wrong. So when I say I'm starting to read books as a writer, that's kind of what I mean. I, I'm looking at it differently. Like, oh, that sentence is kind of clunky or, you know, or there's a typo or I've, I've read books before where like a character actually had a, a different name change. Like, how did that get past the editor? Like, whoops. <laughs> um, but now that I have written a novel, I've, you know, I've written more than one novel now, I know how hard it is. It, it's hard. It's, it is not an easy task to write a 50, 60, 70, 80,000 novel or longer if you're writing, you know, some epic fantasy or something. It is, it's hard. So I got to thinking about it and I thought to myself, you know, I put so much hard work into my book and I'm one of those people that's kind of nervous about sharing it. So once I share a piece of writing, I have gone over it, you know, so many times. I'm, I'm kind of a perfectionist. I want to make it right before I send it out into the world. And for you to say that I, you know, I didn't do such a good job, it, it totally just makes me feel so bad because I, I put so much hard work into that book. And I thought it was perfect. And then I get, you know, maybe a bad comment or something on it or a rejection or, you know, I was just thinking about how I would feel if I had my, like, once I published my book, if I got a bad review, I wouldn't feel so, I wouldn't, I mean, no one would feel good about that, right? Um, so, and then it got me to thinking, maybe I should stop leaving critical reviews for, um, for other books that I've read. And I just, it's, it's just simply because I feel like, you know, okay, maybe I didn't like the book, but maybe, it, you know, someone else would love that book, you know? And what right do I have to give this author some critical review of their book and make them feel bad? Like, now that I'm a part of this writing community, I just feel like, I feel like we shouldn't, like, put down other writers, you know? I think we should just support each other. Even if we write different things, we write different genres, we have different writing styles, but we're all writers. And I just think it's just just nicer to just, you know, support everybody, you know? So I thought about that and I, so I went to Goodreads and I deleted like all of my first, all of my, I deleted all of my like one and two star reviews. And I may have even deleted some three star reviews too. And I, I think I got them all, I may have missed some, but but you get the point. I just came to the conclusion that I didn't think it was right to leave some review that might hurt an author's feelings. You know, that's really just the main thing. I don't wanna hurt anybody's feelings because I know it's tough to write a book and nobody's perfect. And again, I, I just because I don't like the book, that doesn't mean someone else won't like the book. I can give you an example. Uh, you know, when they say like writing is very subjective and it really, really is. There was a book that I read by a best-selling author and I read this book. It was one of those books that the first day I got it, like I had already read like 100, 200 pages in one day, like could not put this book down. And it was over Christmas break and I had family over. And so like, as soon as I would go to bed, like I would like, oh, I get to read my book because this book was so good. It was like one of those books, right? And I finished it and I went online and I, you know, wrote a review. And I was surprised to see that that same book that I gave five stars to, that same book had a one star review. And I'm like, what are you talking about? That book was awesome. Like, were we even reading the same book? Like, how could they not like that book? But they didn't like it. Now, on the flip side, I went to a book that I did not like. Like, a book that I didn't even finish. Like, I gave it one star. 
And I looked in the reviews for that book. There were people who gave that book five star reviews. Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, again, I'm like, are we reading the same book? Because I really had some problems with that one. And you're giving it five stars. So you see what I mean? Even if you don't like the book, there is someone else who probably does like that book. And of course, the author likes the book because they wrote it. So let's just be nice to other writers. Let's just support them. And if you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say it at all, right? I mean, they always say that. I just want to stop the video for a moment because I want to make a clarification about what I'm talking about. Now, if an author has a story and they actually want feedback on it, they want you to tell them what's wrong with it, they want to know how to improve their writing, that is a totally different situation. And in that case, yes, absolutely. You should tell that author exactly what you think of their story because it does the author no good if you just kind of pat them on the back and say, you know, great job, you know, keep going. If you don't give them any tools or any feedback to improve their writing, that doesn't really help them. So that's not really what I'm talking about. I'm talking about books that have already gone through an editing process, that have already been published and, you know, now they're out into the world. Those are the ones I'm talking about. Another thing is that I don't necessarily want to think that there are authors like this out there, but I know there's internet trolls, so there probably are. But there are some authors out there, I imagine, that do not take negative feedback very well. If, you know, if you give them a, a negative review and they may just really not like it and those and so, like, what's to prevent them from, uh, you know, going to your story and posting a nasty review of their own? So, I don't know. Just something to think about. Like, that's something that I kind of, like, get worried about. Like, so I don't want anybody to, like, come back and say anything negative about my stories just because I said something bad about theirs. I hope that makes sense. All right. I'll go back to the video now, but I just wanted to make that clarification. Just, if you don't have anything, if you don't have anything nice to say... Don't say it at all. But if you like the book, if you really like the book, I definitely think you should give that author a review because that is so encouraging. Whenever you like a book, and and whenever that or whenever that author sees that review for that book that they worked so hard on, and they see that someone liked it, it really makes their day. So definitely leave reviews for books that you enjoy and I would say if you don't like the book if you had some problems with it maybe you like most of it but there was one part about it that you really wish you could change you know if you have anything to say that you feel like might hurt the author's feelings I would leave that to yourselves um, if you really feel like you need to write a book review like I say writing book reviews is a great way to get better at your own writing but maybe write it and don't post it. Like, I don't know. I, I guess it's, maybe it's a personal decision. That's just my decision. Um, but what do you think? Do you think authors should leave reviews for other authors? Um, specifically for books that they didn't like? I don't know. What do you think? Leave me, leave me something in the comments and let me know um, what you think. Because I've been thinking about this a lot and... How, you know, now that I'm going to be a published author soon, I feel like I just want to be in a community that supports other writers. And I don't want to say anything that might hurt anybody's feelings. So, that's just my opinion. Alright, so if you enjoyed this content, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, I love to connect with other writers. Alright, see you guys later. Bye!